So I wanted to look at having something fun happen when you get to the end of the game. So uh, initially I've, I've done this, uh, which is kind of dumb, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's just a bunch of hearts that I've created with a physics behavior on them. You can see it right here. I've got when the big guy is in collision with the door, I set the animation of the door to opening. I wait a second. I deactivate big guy. You can't actually walk around um, while the end of the uh, game scene is happening. And I set this Boolean value of global variable game end. So um, that's just kind of flagging that the game is over. And then I checking it in this one. So only if game end is true, every frame I create a heart and I also change the scale of the heart. I do this random in range. So this is setting it to be a random position between zero and 800 on the X, between minus 400 and 600 on the Y. Uh, that's making the spawn off the top of the screen, I guess. Something like that. And uh, random float in range is the decimal number. So but any decimal number between one and five um, because scales tend to be a decimal number so that's fine it works okay but uh, i think i can do better than that i'd like to do a fireworks effect so that's going to be what i do here this will take a little while and it's not necessarily the best way to do it but i'm hoping it's um, it's kind of useful so what we're going to use for the fireworks effect is um particles so i'm going to go add a new object and new object from scratch and there's down here somewhere particles emitter and you get this lot uh, the thing about particles emitter, there's a lot of things you can change, and that's going to be one of the things we look at in this um, video. So I'm going to. The, the plan is, uh, I've already kind of done this once, so I'm, I'm, it worked quite nicely. I'm going to try and do the same thing again. I'm going to start with fireworks being fired up into the sky with a kind of trail behind them, and then when they get to a certain point, they explode, just like fireworks do. So this is going to be the fireworks up one. This is the first one fireworks up and um, what do I need to have maximum number of particles displayed and uh, number of particles in the tank and flow of particles these things are quite closely related this is how many particles per second uh, and this is how many you get all together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the number of particles in the tank um, to say 90 all right so that means I get two seconds worth of particles so 45 per second, 45 particles per second to get 90 altogether. The maximum number of particles displayed won't come into it because it'll only uh, do a certain amount. Uh, also, this is spray cone thing. Um, it comes out at 90 degrees. I, I'll show you what it looks like. And um, so we'll just kind of drag it into the scene. It won't be doing much and um, hit the preview on that. Um, yeah, so we get 90 degrees worth of particles coming out. So we, we'll get the idea from this and then we'll see what we do. That's 90 degrees worth. Uh, and you see we've got two seconds worth there as well. So um, what I want to do is fire those up in the air. And so the way I'm going to do that, uh, I'm actually going to create a new object, just a blank object to just manage that. So it's going to be a sprite without any animation. And the reason I'm doing it is because, you know, what, I, I did this a minute before, and I found that I was getting too many of them. So I wanted to add a behavior. So under new behaviors, there's this fire bullets one. And the reason I want to use this one is it's going to let me manage how many fireworks per second I get. There's other ways to do it. Uh, this is just the way I've chosen to do it this time. It also uh, lets me manage um, the angles and does this... Um, uh, where is it? There's somewhere in here. There's an angle variance, so they don't all head off at the same angle. So I think that makes it look better. But this is what I really want it for: is the firing cooldown 0.5. So it's only going to fire a firework every 0.5 seconds. So that sprite, I'm going to. Oh, I should have given it a name, shouldn't I? Rename object. I'm going to call it firework spawner. Fireworks spawner name I'm going to just drag that kind of down here this X you don't see when you actually play the game I'm just going to fire things up from here I can change its position to if I'm spawning from its position or I can just choose random positions we'll see what happens so um, in here in this event sheet then I'm just going to do this separately and then we're going to work on triggering it with, with yeah we'll, we'll do this separately so I don't have to um, 
uh, actually walk over to the door and open the door every single time. I just want to practice, uh, try things out. So add a new event, which will be all the time. I'm going to get my fireworks spawner to fire bullets towards an angle. And the X position where to create the bullet is going to be random. So I'm going to choose that random in range thing. Um, and I think the screen size is zero to 800. And the Y position, uh, I'm just going to go with a fireworks spawner uh, Y position. So I can change that if I want to later. I don't think I will, but I can do that. The bullet object is going to be the firework up. Angle of the bullets is going to be 270 degrees. Uh, that's straight up because zero degrees is off to the to the right, as it were, and it goes clockwise round. So 180 degrees will be going to the left. 90 degrees is going down. 270 is straight up. Speed of the bullet, I don't know make up a number and see how that looks 200 um, let's see what that looks like shall we that should be firing fireworks straight up I don't think I did set angle variance did I I can't remember now we'll have a look in a second so it's firing some bullets straight up like that that's kind of what we want I like that um, and we'll change the variance um, be nice if they weren't all exactly two seconds we, we, we can you know what, while we're here, we'll actually change, do that speed as being a random number as well. So random in range, uh, I think that would look better if we make that random in range uh, between, let's say, 50 and 400. So they'll they're all fire at different heights now, which is a good thing, and they'll fire off at different speeds. And if I go back to my fireworks spawner, and um, I'm going to change that angle variance to be, uh, say, 90 degrees. So uh, it'll fire them up, not just all straight up. Uh, that's good. Now, the next thing I want to do is when the firework gets to the height it's going to be, um, I want to uh, get rid of it and create a new firework which will be the explosion so let's make a new particle effect a uh, new particle emitter and uh, this one will be a little bit more impressive so it does definitely need to be 360 degrees because it's going to be an explosion outwards flow of particles is going to make it pretty massive like 600 1600 particles per second and number of particles in tank I'm just going to say 800 particles in tank. Maximum number displayed, I'm going to say 800. Um, I think that'll do for now. I, you do come back and tweak all of these later, so we'll see that. Oh, I didn't rename it, should I? So this should be firework, expl firework explosion. Firework explosion. Um, and in the event sheet, what I'm going to do is for the firework up, there's a, when we run out of particles, no more particles, there it is. When we run out of particles, we are going to spawn. Um, so object, we are going to create an object which will be a firework explosion. And it's going to be at the firework up dot X and firework dot y and i think that'll be fine and uh, oh we'll also delete ourselves because we don't it's, it's done its job it's all over so we can just get rid of it delete the object um i wonder what that's going to look like i think it's not a bad start actually Yeah, that's kind of looking like fireworks a bit. Um, we could, <laughs> some of these angles are a bit extreme, aren't they? I might make that not quite so uh, extreme. Um, but I quite liked it. Um, it's not too bad. I think one thing I, I do want to do is get rid of this thing, which is kind of distracting at the start of the scene. Um, let's go back into this firework explosion. Um, I wonder if we can tweak this a little bit. One thing it might be nice is some, a little bit of gravity on the particles on the y-axis. So you know, kind of when you get that explosion, the, the, um, the particles kind of fall down a bit. Um, 
We can change these colors as well, start color and end color. Um, so we, we can change those, but we can actually do that in the program, I believe, as well. Um, let's kind of do that. Or oh, and the other thing that I did think of that might be nice to do is if we, yeah, oh, no, I'll come back to that. So let's just try that. And also I wanted to change the angle of the spawner. So I don't want quite so much variance in here. Let's go with say 50 degrees. See what that looks like, shall we? Might be all right, might not be. Kind of, um, yeah, that's all right. I quite like that. Not quite sure I like the colors. I think we could do with a few more of them as well. Uh, I think that's quite not quite enough of the fireworks. So that's an easy, easy tweak, isn't it? Let's do that right now. Change this to um, try and cool down 0.2. So that's more than twice as many fireworks. Now, here's the thing we're going to do then. Um, they're all the same color. I'm not sure I love that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an action, which is the firework explosion. We're going to change its start color and end color. Now, the way this works is you can use this color picker here. So I'm just going to pick a color. You can see it, you just get um, three numbers. So this is the red, green, blue value, and they are between zero and two, five, five. So by having the different values of red, green, blue, you mix to just about any color that you want. Um, I'm going to put some randomness in here instead. Now, the thing is, it seems to need a string. There might be a better way to do this. This is just the way I, I did that worked for me. So we need three numbers separated by two semicolons. So I'm gonna say um, two string, two string, there we are. And the number is gonna be a random in range, random in range between zero and two, five, five. So that's gonna be the first one. And then we're gonna add on a semicolon. This plus just can, it concatenates is uh, what it does. So it, it sticks the bits together, as it were, adds on together. So two string that plus that, plus another one, plus another semicolon, plus the third number. So that will choose for me a completely random string of the same style as what we just had. Uh, and let's do the same for the end color. I wonder, can I just control C and then uh, paste actions? Uh, find it so odd. And then paste actions, yeah, and change particles end color. There we go. So in theory, we should get quite quite random um, colors in these firework explosions now. See what that looks like. Yeah, I quite like that. Um, uh, and I think we're pretty much. I guess we're pretty much done. I quite like. We we yeah. You can spend a lot of time tweaking that. I think that that's not makes this video too long if I do that. But if I just um, now um, add condition, and I'm just going to take this and put this here, and I'm going to disable this hearts thing. So toggle disabled, so the hearts thing won't happen anymore. And the last thing I'm going to do is just make the scene. Uh, nice and dark, so it goes into kind of the nighttime background color, and we'll make it black. I think we'll make the, this firework stand out quite nicely. So, is that going to work? I think it will. So, I'll actually um, walk over to the door. The door opens, everything goes black, and I have some fireworks quite pretty so I like that all right uh, uh, definitely these could be improved and definitely there are other ways of doing the same thing um, and that's kind of over to you to do that